X and it's time for Wealth Wednesday. So if you're new to investing, it can be quite a daunting task to tackle. But the question is, is it really? We're joined again by our friend, private wealth advisor, Will Rogers and Baxter to share some <laughs> tips for new investors to grasp. And um, maybe you can use this if you're looking to get a furry friend because eventually if you buy a furry friend or even if you adopt later on, they just come with costs anyways. That no is an how investment. you get a furry friend, they are an investment. Yep. Uh, Will, do you have any advantages for being a new investor? Uh, one of the biggest is that you've got youth. You know, just like Baxter's here, only seven, he's got a long life ahead of him. Is you're young, you've got time on your side, and something that I'll, I like to say is the Emily phrase. Uh, early money is like yeast. It just grows and grows and grows. And so that time, that advantage of that is, it, it's just crazy what a big deal that is. Right, so best to start soon and young. What should new investors know about those market swings? Uh, one of the big things is, is just going in, eyes wide open, that, 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 you know, yes, the market will go up, the market will go down. You know, last year there was a 20% drop in the market, but if you weren't part of it, you didn't experience it. You know, back in 2008, we, we had a 50% drop in the market. You're going to have these times where, where it feels like the world is coming to an end and it's going to bounce back up. You know, things go up and down, and that can actually work to a young investor's favor. When, when the shares are down, if they're buying in in their 401k or whatever every month, dollar cost averaging, they're buying more shares on sale. And that, that's when you want to buy them. Oh, yeah. Baxter agrees. Uh, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> the Baxter said, yeah, for sure. How much risk should a new investor take? That's really up to the young investor and or new investor. I'm sorry, but you know, as you're looking at it, it needs to be the amount that if you know, if you see the the investment account drop by 20 percent, and that would be enough that you would panic and pull out. Well, then that's too much. If you can see that account drop 60 percent and you just ride with it, it's what's right for you. And, and so don't take more than you can just ride through and, and tolerate. And what you should expect is when you're first starting out, you got a little bit of money in there. And so if it goes up and down, you know, it might be a modest sum, but as that account grows, that same percentage is some real dollars. And so you might adjust your risk tolerance as your wealth increases. Okay, so along those lines, I mean, can, what are some of the steps, are there steps that you can take to reduce risk? One of the best things to do is have a really good asset allocation where you've got truly different stuff. You know, one of the biggest misconceptions I'll, I'll hear folks say is, oh, I want to be diversified, so they'll have their accounts at different institutions, and they've got the same stuff just in different places. They're really not diversified. You want to have different investments, be it equities or fixed income, alternatives, cash, different types of equities, different types of fixed income, different types of alternatives. So if, if one's going down, you've got another going up. But, but asset allocation really can help you manage that risk. And when it comes to being a new investor, what should your main priority be? The main priority should be your long-term financial security. You know, there's always stuff that'll come up. You know, there might be a, a credit card bill, a, a new air conditioner you need. Um, most of those you can kind of slog your way through. As you get to a point in life where work isn't your primary source of income, you're going to need to provide for yourself. And, and the folks my generation, a lot of us are blessed with, with pensions, uh, bigger social security checks, uh, just we, we, we've got some, some tailwinds at our back. Younger investors, I, I, I think it's best to have the framework that you need to prepare mm -hmm. to go it alone. And so your portfolio, you need to build that up. So whatever comes and hits you, you've got that long-term financial security taken care of. Times have definitely changed. As they have, as and they will. Yeah. You know, the, the rules that we're looking at today, when we get to 2030, will be different. When we get to 2040, will be different. Young investors are really looking at money in the 2070s is when they'll probably be using it. Think about it. You know, the 70s. Roll with Welcome to the 70s. Uh, <laughs> we're getting close to the 70s already. Uh, you can find out more information with Will right there. The information on our screen at wrogers.info and also his phone number, too. Baxter, thanks for joining us here today, buddy. Yeah, Appreciate it. And Will, you too. Uh, it's a good morning. <laughs> it's good to see you. Let's check it right now. First alert, meteorologist Mikel.